Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Tuesday. Another dreary, cold day outside. It is just cold and raining, and I think the high was 50, but I don't know if it'll ever make. Let me see what my phone says if it's on. Um, it's 39, cloudy and 39 now, and 30% chance of rain, but it's still kind of misty outside. But tomorrow, it's gonna be high 63. I should have been a weather girl. Anyway, so today I'm not doing much of anything. I've got to go do my typical errands and go get the kids and stuff. And I thought I would just do a quick video update on the Jergens BB Body Lotion. And as you can see, I am in need of a new bottle. And I have been try just trying to think of what I was gonna tell you guys about this because it's hard to even put into words what this does. First of all, I like it. I'm going to get another one. But second of all, it does not tan or give you color like a self-tanner does. What it does, it gives you just a little bit of color. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can tell now. And you can see I don't have on any tanner. I've been using this for, gosh, since I got it. No tanner since I got it and I don't have on anything else. I've still got a little score right there where I got burnt by my curling iron. And um, I have, you know, a freckly chest. I have done many things to, you know, I've had a peel, I've done the hydroquinone. You guys remember when I tried to do the 6% hydroquinone, how bad it hurt my chest. So I've pretty much just come to the conclusion this is about as good as it's gonna get unless I want to do like some laser things and they're just so expensive and you have to do so many of them. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that or not. If there's any dermatologists or estheticians out there that can tell me if they think that really works, like the IPL and stuff. But anyway, sometimes when I use the self-tanner, it almost makes my chest look worse because it, any of these, you know, speckly patches that have any texture to them, it grabs and it makes those look even more, you know, even darker and, you know, blotchy and stuff like that, more pigmented. So I have enjoyed not worrying about that. And this stuff, it just, let's see. So it says it hydrates and smooths, brightens and illuminates, even skin tone, visibly firms, and minimizes the appearance of imperfections. I would say, I don't know about tones, but hydrates and smooths, it does. It makes your skin feel like velvet. I mean, your skin just feels so good. And I don't have any coloring or any discoloring of my clothes, of my sheets. Um, it doesn't stink, it smells really good. I mean, usually even when I think something smells good at first, like a tanner or something, you know, you just get tired of it. That smell just almost makes you sick after a while. This smells really good, like a lotion. I mean, it, there's just, I can't really say anything negative about this, but it is not a self-tanner. It doesn't get you as tan as if you were putting on the mousses, and this is the one for medium to deep skin tones. It just, like it says, enhances your skin. I think it just, I don't know, it just, I don't know if you can tell, it just kind of gives you like a little bit of a radiance, especially like on your collarbone and stuff, and, I really like it. So I'm just using it in place of my lotion and in place of my tanner. Now, when I'm wearing a dress or I want some more color, what I would use, let me go I get it real quick. Every woman needs this, and it is the Water Resistant Airbrush Legs by Sally Hansen. And I have the Medium Glow. It says leg makeup for light to medium skin tones. And this stuff is wonderful. I mean, it is really like a miracle because when I I would rather use this on my legs than tanning lotion because of that whole thing about making the spots on my legs even darker or any, like if you have a scar or just anything, you know, your tanner catches it. This, what I do is I just, I don't, you know, just airbrush it on. I usually do like, and you can see it can get messy. So I always do it, I either stick my leg in the shower or over a towel on the floor that I'm getting ready to wash. And what I'll do is do a stripe you know, down the front, and then maybe a stripe down the side, and then I'll take, I've been using this brush, which I love. This is that um, Eco Tools body brush that I've shown you, and then I just brush it in. 
and then I do a little bit on my just on the top of my foot right where it the bend to my ankle and then I brush a little bit down my foot just to give it some color so I'm not really trying to airbrush I'm just trying to give it some color my legs some color and they do you know provide a little bit of coverage too so I love this so this in conjunction with this is perfect and even if you want to use just a little bit of this this is probably gonna be really messy on your chest just do like a couple of little spots like that and then just brush it out and it just gives you just a little bit of color and when this stuff dries it is just dry it's not going anywhere you will notice when you get in the shower it won't even come off when you're just first in the shower it'll come off when you like when you shave your legs or a lot of times even though I use those razors with the um, shaving bar around them a lot of times I'll use some soap or some kind of shower gel or something and you know lather up my legs and as soon as I do that I'll see it coming off but it will last days and um, so you can see how you can get a little bit of color and a little bit of glow that way and I just think for me right now this is working the best I cannot wait to get to the beach this summer and the water park and everything but I even then I don't really tan my chest that much I just usually put on like factor 15 or something and let it just gradually get a little color so that is my final not my final but my thoughts on this after using it for over a week is I really like it but it's not a self tanner it just gives you a little bit of color but a lot of moisture a lot of smoothness and a really pretty glow and it smells good so I hope that I think you should just try it and but with that expectations you shouldn't expect it to be you know a full-on tanner okay the next thing I wanted to update you on and I really can't give a full review on this and a, a full fair chance but I just wanted to tell you my first experience with this OPI natural nail base coat in glitter off I put this on late Saturday night um, when I say late you know I mean like nine o'clock or so and um, I was just going to use it like I was telling you I was going to see how it worked with a dark polish over it so I put on Chanel blue satin and I put on two coats well then I decided well I'm going to go ahead and put some of that um, Sally Hansen the mermaid tears and I'll try to put a picture at the end of this video and show you what it looked like because it was so pretty I was at first just going to put it on one nail but it was so pretty I put it on every nail and it was just so pretty and I thought oh this is so neat so um, then I put on the top coat to dry so that was a good you know four or five coats of different polishes and stuff and the next day we were in church I don't even think church had hardly started and I looked down and like half of my thumb was just gone you know just like it had ripped off or chipped off like a good at least a third of it so I thought, oh, well, that's my thumb. You know, I'm always kind of rough with your thumbs, whatever. So about, you know, 20 minutes later, I looked down and my entire pointer finger was off. And by the end of the day, about half of them had chipped off and I just peeled the other half off. And I did notice that the places where you don't get the base coat, like in the corners, that was still hard to get off. So you have to make sure that you coat this everywhere or just don't get your other polishes you know it, when they go over it just be in, keep in mind that they're going to stick now so for that it was not worth it but I don't feel like that's maybe a fair shot I think that maybe next time I try it I need to just do this and let it dry and I did and then do just the glitter polish and that way it's just those two coats and then maybe a top coat over that just to help it dry and then I'll see how it lasts with that. Now I have been told people use Elmer's glue instead of this and that does the same thing and that makes sense because that's kind of how this ends up being. It's very streaky and white and you have to let it dry and um, but it does like peel right off. So it's just I guess it's got some kind of rubberized thing in it. So I'll get back with you. Last night I painted my nails and I just didn't feel like doing it. I felt like putting on something and it lasting for a while. So that's how I feel about that. So far, not so good. It doesn't work when you do like too many coats. But um, if you've tried it, let me down, know down below. I think, I think one of my uh, followers on Instagram said she tried it and it chipped off by the next day. So we'll see how it goes. 
And if you've tried this, let me know what you think and if there's any tips or whatever. But I, so far, I've just really been loving it, just as my lotion. And what I do is I put it in front of, when I get in the shower, we have that little space heater because I just, we've been so cold lately. And I um, turn that on and I just kind of sit this in front of it. So when I get out, it's real warm and then I just use it all over. And um, it hasn't discolored like, you know, my clothes, underclothes or anything. So I really do not have on an outfit of the day, but I will show you. Just to prove I don't dress up every day. <laughs> Days like today, I just do not even feel like going anywhere. So I put on just something really comfy and a coat and go. And then we're after we get home from school, we're usually in for the night. Okay, so, so today I have right on back. just um, some of my all-time favorite tanks, which is the Target um, Massimo Long and Lean tanks. And they were on sale, I think, for $5 the other day when Brooke and I were in there. And then these are some of the big slouchy Victoria's Secret pants and they have kind of like that um, that behind that's not the most flattering but they're just very very comfy and I even have on my Uggs with them just because I can't bear to put on my flip-flops and I don't want to put on tennis shoes I just want to stay warm and then I'll put on I'll probably just throw on my black leather jacket just to I just remembered one other thing I was um on Instagram this morning and I saw Juicy Jan or Jan Juice on there giving her you know opinion on the living proof phd shampoo and conditioner and i agree with her i still love the phd you know perfect hair day treatment but i have not really seen any big deal or any big difference with the using the shampoo and conditioner and the treatment like last night i used the um let's see what did i use last night I use the um, one that smells like orange cream sickles or something. It is the, oh, I'll put it down here. It's the moisture one from AG. And I love that. And then what I do is use that PhD and then it still gives me the separation in the body, but I feel like it makes it a little fluffier and softer and smoother. The other one, it seems like when I use the PhD shampoo and conditioner, and then the styling treatment it's like a little bit too much I think and it almost makes it where the curl holds too much and it just doesn't have the movement and everything so I'm going to stick with the styling treatment but I don't know if I would get the full size shampoo and conditioner and that's just my opinion and I have you know processed hair so I hope you guys have a good day um oh accessories I have on my Sheila Fajal hoops I just got probably the biggest shipment of Sheila Fajal I've ever gotten and I got some really new, neat new, um, I've been wanting some long chains to like layer with and I got a couple of those and just fully stocked on hoops and everything. So I'm going to add those this afternoon. And for those of you that just subscribed to me, if you're wondering what the big deal is about these hoops, it's just that they're so light and they're so pretty and they're so big but they're so light they never if you can see they never pull on your ears and you just forget that you even have them in they're just the best hoops i, I hope you guys worn. have a great day and i will see you real soon bye bye